Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel, The Artful Traveler. We are in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And when I say we, I mean me and seven, I'm sorry, I'm the seven, so six of my closest girlfriends. And we have been doing a trip once a year for, I think it's 27 years now. We are all artists. We met at an advertising agency. And I'll tell you what, get some great friends, get some great drinks, and do some wonderful experiences together because there's nothing like it. Um, we went to a cool thing called Meow Wolf, and I would search that out and see if there's one near you. I know there's one in Santa Fe right now, and I think there's one in Colorado and maybe somewhere in California, but this is an experience of the bazaar. It is a building with a whole bunch of um, cool rooms that artists did, and it has a theme. So I would just, rather than me explain it, I would look it up and I would highly recommend going. It was amazing. This VRBO that we rented was so cute. It was perfect. It was in what was called the rail yard of Santa Fe, which is uh, a foodie's paradise. So if you're an artist, you want to get inspired, go to Santa Fe. It's amazing. So when we went to the museum, I there wasn't a lot of macro flowers, but there were some. And those flowers, plus the flowers I saw in the plaza, are what inspired me today to do painting of macro flowers. And so I hope you enjoy it. We're going to do one big flower, and then we're going to do some smaller flowers um, with some stems. And again, in alcohol ink. So leave a comment below if you want me to continue doing alcohol ink projects or if you would like to see some collage or acrylic painting or anything that you desire let me know because I want to um, connect with all of you and I want to feel like we're um, a part of this journey together so um, you will see in this one picture Georgie O'Keefe always wore this hat so of course I had to get the matching hat so Oh, there's my dog, Noka. Hi, Noka. All right, let's get started. Now that we're all set up and we have our inks open, I think we should um, put the center of our flower right about here using a poppy red. I'm going to put down about nine or ten good drops. Then I'm going to put a yellow in the center of that, and I have my straw ready and I'm going to blow very hard in the center. You can see the ink just expands and starts to create some natural petals. I'm going to take my brush, my fatter brush, and pull from the center out in kind of a sweeping motion to create and start create some of those petals that are part of our macro flower. Next, I'm gonna add a few different colors of inks, some red and some alcohol. I'm gonna blow on it. And I'm just trying to create some different values, some different colors, always pulling from the center out to create the petals. using a smaller brush to get some thinner lines and some pure alcohol. I'll bring in some lighter tones from the edge in. And you can see our bloom is starting to take shape. I mixed together teak wood and red to create a dark maroon. I'm using this now to divine the larger shapes of the petals. At this point, I'm pretty happy with the overall petals, but I need to redefine the center of the flower. Using yellow, I put about seven or eight drops in the center and wait for that 
to expand. Once that gets to a size I like, I add alcohol, which will react with the ink and push it even further. I then get my straw and blow very hard in the center. As you can see, it redefines the very center of the flower. This is where I hope you just enjoy the process. Putting ink down, moving it with your brush, I want to work on the center of the flower more and create some highlight. So I use a cotton swab to remove the ink. And then I will make dots with the swab. This emulates the stamen of the flower and creates a lot of interest at the center. It's time to add some depth. So I mix some of the pitch black with the teak wood and with a very thin brush, start to put in some nice, deep, dark tones. At this point of the painting, I feel like the lower right corner has too many hard lines and shapes. So I decide to take some ink, tilt my paper, and just let it all drip down. I even add a whole bunch of alcohol just to see how it's going to blend all these shapes together. Sometimes when you add alcohol, it just creates magic that you never could really paint. I really like how when the black blended out, it created that little purple area. And now it's time to get the Copic markers and add a lot of detail to our flower. I love to use these markers to create as much interest as I can in the center of the flower. That's where I want the center of attention to be. I'll use the brush tip end of the darker brown even to create more lines and more interest. This really is the fun part of the painting. It's so subjective. I just find shapes that I feel like outlining, just moving freely, not thinking too much. I always say, the less I think, the better the painting. To add some more definition after I'm done with the alcohol ink, I use Posca pen. You do need to shake these pens up. They are an acrylic, thin lined paint pen. And I think they just create a wonderful addition to alcohol ink paintings. I hope you enjoyed making this macro bloom. If you did, leave a comment or hit that like button and I will create more. Next up, we are going to be doing some funky kind of fun flowers in a field. So join us for that and click the link right here.